Hi everyone, I'm JotaroKujo79 and in this video I'm gonna show you the first part of my PS Vita game collection. I have a total of 31 games and I'm gonna split this video in two parts. Uh, let me know in the comments if you collect for the Vita and how many PS Vita games do you have in your collection. But let's start! The first one is a PS Vita exclusive and is Army Corps of Hell. It's an action strategy game developed by Hather Sphere and published by Square Enix. Uh, the game received mixed reviews, scoring uh, 57 on Metacritic. I paid it only 8 euros uh, for this German version and it costs around 10 pounds or dollars on Amazon. The game is complete with manual and in mint conditions. Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation. It's an action adventure game developed and published by Ubisoft. The game was released in October 2012 alongside Assassin's Creed 3 uh, and um, it was a, originally a PS Vita exclusive. Later on in 2014 it was released also for the PS3, Xbox 360 and PC. It's set in America and sees the first female protagonist for the franchise. Uh, received positive reviews, scoring 70 on Metacritic. I paid it 10 euros and uh, this is more or less the price, uh, the actual price on Amazon or eBay. This one is also complete with manual. The next game I think needs no presentation and is Borderland 2. It's a first person shooter with RPG elements and with an addictive loot system. Uh, developed by Gearbox Software and published by 2K Games, it was ported on the Vita in 2014. Uh, the game has been critically acclaimed and is, in my opinion, one of the best shooters of the past generation. Uh, the cool thing about this game is that you can play uh, across different platforms. You can import your progress uh, of, your, the, of your character. Uh, for instance, I started to play on my PS Vita, then continued on the PS3 and completed the game on the PS4. Uh, so, if you have the Vita, uh, this is a must-buy. I strongly suggest you to get this game. Uh, I bought the game together with the console, uh, but on Amazon is still pricey, uh, starting for uh, from 20 euros uh, up to 30 pounds. The next one is a PS Vita exclusive, and is Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified. It's a first-person shooter developed by Instigate Games and published in 2012 by Activision. It features single-player and multiplayer. Uh, the story takes place uh, between the first two Black Ops. Uh, the game received, uh, received mostly negative reviews, scoring a miserable th uh, 33 on Metacritic. Uh, it was also included in the bundle, uh, as above the console, and on Amazon costs around $20. Child of Light is a side-scrolling action platforming with RPG elements developed and published by Ubisoft in 2014. Uh, the game received positive reviews, scoring over 80 on Metacritic. It has a unique art direction that makes it uh, definitely worth playing. Uh, I paid it 10 euros on, and on Amazon UK the game is surprisingly expensive, costing 30 pounds. So if you have the chance, uh, buy this game. Everybody's Golf, uh, in North America known as Hot Shot Golf World Invitational, is a golf game developed by Club Hands and published by Sony, the 11 installment in the Hot Shots Golf franchise. The game received positive reviews, scoring a 76 on Metacritic, and this is a cheap one, you can easily find it under 10 euros. FIFA 13 known in North America as FIFA Soccer 13. It's a football or a soccer game developed and published annually by Electronic Arts and this is the first full version of this game released on PS Vita. I think this is a, dis a decent port uh, of this game and it's one of the best soccer games uh, on portable devices. This is the Austrian Peggy 3 Austrian version and I paid it only 2 euros. Gravity Rush is a third-person action-adventure game developed by SCE uh, Japan Studio and published in 2012 by Sony Entertainment. Originally uh, a PS Vita exclusive and in 2016 ported on the PS4. Recently has been made also a sequel for the PS4. Uh, 
Uh, the game received positive reviews, scoring 83 on Metacritic. I started to play it on the Vita and I'm enjoying it. Uh, I like the gameplay, graphics and the art design. Uh, bought it for 11 euros and on Amazon still costs uh, 20 pounds or dollars. The next one is a PlayStation exclusive and is Invisimal The Alliance. It's a third-person turn-based card battle adventure game developed by Magenta Software and published by Sony. It features the cross-play with the PS3 game The Lost Kingdom. Uh, this is another cheap one, uh, paid only 4 euros and perfect to increase a little bit my PS Vita collection. The next one is another PS Vita exclusive and is Killzone Mercenary. First person shooter developed by Guerrilla Cambridge and published by Sony. The game received positive reviews, scoring 78 on Metacritic. In general, many people complained that Sony didn't support this console, but as you can see, at least during the first years, uh, they launched a lot of good games and exclusives. Um, this one is probably the best shooter on the system. I played it uh, during Christmas holiday and I love it. Highly recommended and um, the game was included in the bundle uh, with the Vita. Um, and on Amazon.com goes for $35. Lego Batman 2 DC Super Heroes. It's an action adventure game developed by Traveler's Tale and published by Warner Bros. This Vita version received mixed reviews, scoring 62 on Metacritic. I normally don't buy LEGO games, but it was only 5 euros and since the Vita games uh, start from 10 euros upwards, I pick it up. The next one is another PlayStation exclusive and is Little Bit Planet PS Vita version. It's a puzzle action platform game published by Sony and ported on the Vita by Double Eleven and Tarsia Studio in 2012. The game has been also released on the PS Portable in 2009, received positive reviews, aggregating 88 on Metacritic. Uh, the gameplay has been adapted on the Vita, introducing the new mechanics thanks to touch, the touchscreen. Uh, this one was also included in the package as I bought my Vita. I played it the first levels and it's an awesome game. In my opinion, a must have for all the Vita owners. The next one is an exclusive and launch title for the PS Vita and is Little Deviants. It's an action platformer developed by Big Big Studios and published in 2012 by Sony. It's basically a minigame compilation that makes use of the touch screen, rear touchpad along with the standard controls of the Vita. Received mixed set reviews, scoring 57 on Metacritic. Uh, this is the German version, I paid it only 5 euros. And here, another PS Vita exclusive and launch title, Luminous Electronic Symphony. It's a puzzle game developed by Q Entertainment and published in 2012 by Ubisoft. Received positive reviews, scoring 83. And this is probably the best puzzle game on the system and the best entry in the Luminous series. This is the Peggy 3 German version and I got it for uh, 7 euros. And the last one is Mortal Kombat, one of the most famous fighting games of all times, developed by Nether Realm Studios and published by Warner Bros. Uh, this is the ninth installment in the franchise, received positive reviews, scoring 85 on Metacritic. Uh, in this version you have uh, some new exclusive features, such as playing as Kratos from God of War. I got this BBFC uh, 18 UK version for 10 euros. So this was it for today, if you liked the video clicking the like button is not a bad idea and if you want to see more of these episodes, subscribing is the best way to stay tuned on my channel. Watch also my previous videos if you missed them and see you in the next episode.